Hello viewers, my name is Bartek and today I'm going to be talking to you about Sirocco K3 sunglasses for cycling. So uh, me and my wife have recently acquired uh, two pairs of these glasses um, and I thought that I would describe them and do a little bit of an overview and also put them to a test uh, on an actual ride outside. So I've got two pairs of these glasses and they have two different shapes. Uh, the first one is actually uh, A42 which looks like this. It's a, it's a little bit uh, more sort of edgy kind of shape. And then the other pair I've got here is called A34 and it's got a more of a round type of shape. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what they look like uh, on my face. These are the A42 pair and this is what they look like from the sides and from the front. And these are the A34 and they look like this. What's really interesting about these glasses is that the company claimed that uh, the, the frame itself is made 100% of recycled plastic which is very cool because it makes the product uh, very environmentally friendly. Another cool feature is the photochromic uh, lenses and that basically means that uh, when it gets darker uh, your, your view uh, brightens up and vice versa so when it brightens up outside uh, the, the glasses the lenses become darker so you, so that actually protects uh, your eyes and it offsets the brightness from the sunlight there is actually quite a choice when it comes to the lenses so we've got the black lenses the ones that i'm presenting here today uh, but you can actually choose i think between sort of yellow green blue and even neutral um, and I think there's also maybe maybe some other options as well, but you'd have to uh, check them on the on the Sirocco website. Uh, but they do offer quite a range of lenses, uh, and it depends on which color of of the lenses you are using. Uh, the view uh, is slightly different, and I think they actually give um, an idea, uh, an example uh, on the website as well of what the view uh, will look like for those lenses. The one thing that I would say uh, after putting them to a test, uh, which is a little bit of a strange thing uh, if you're not used to that, uh, when you put them on, uh, you actually can't see certain things or you see certain things slightly differently. Uh, so especially some screens, you know, because uh, for example, when I put them on and I look at my phone screen, uh, I can barely see it. the whole screen becomes really dark. Other than that, uh, I think the glasses are really good. I, I am per uh, personally very happy with them. So uh, I'm going to show you how they actually behaved and what, what experiences we've had whilst on the ride. Today we are going on a 100 km ride and we've just bought uh, two new pair of sunglasses by Sirocco and we're going to be testing them. Uh, they're actually supposed to be uh, dim themselves depending on how bright it is outside so today is a really sunny day a great day to test these glasses glasses are really cool because they don't dim the view too much but at the same time they get really black so they really protect your eyes 
from the sunlight but you can see everything really clearly so so far so good fantastic beautiful day amazing ride This is our next stop. Uh, the weather is absolutely fantastic, gorgeous day, the sun is shining. What more can you want? arrived in Warrington and they have some really beautiful cycle lanes here and uh, we just by the river so it's absolutely lovely Uh, Sun Key Valley in Warrington. It's absolutely beautiful. We've just seen a heron actually by the canal. Uh, what a lovely day for a bike ride. Absolutely beautiful around here. Just have a look. And these cycle lanes, they go for miles actually. It's a very beautiful place, a beautiful park. Uh, yeah, lovely, honestly. Oh, two swans, look. Absolutely amazing. We are now in Warrington, we're basically on a public footpath that uh, looks like this, just behind some uh, containers, uh, just we're trying to get to the River Mersey, so I'm just gonna hop on the bike whoops, <laughs> and show you how that goes. So yeah, very strange. Uh, very strange place really how how bizarre it is because it's so narrow 
uh, this, fo this footpath but apparently a guy uh, one of the workers from a company right next door just told us this is definitely the right way and look there's some industrial sites here some massive uh, chimneys and stuff like that we've made it we've made it to the river Mersey in Warrington so you can see it's, it's right behind me and it's quite an industrial site here actually um, I was expecting maybe something a bit more picturesque but in a, in a sort of nature kind of way rather than uh, being all industrial like this nevertheless it's quite a quite a cool side so uh, there we go all right so we're just outside of Warrington still there's some really cool cycle paths here uh, and actually the weird thing about this, these glasses is that when I look at my phone screen and I'm trying to record like now in the selfie mode it, I can't see anything basically the screen just becomes black and the moment I take the glasses off uh, I can still see myself so so this is this is a bit strange but I suppose it's one of the uh, some of the qualities that these glasses have but yeah absolutely fantastic around here just crossing Manchester ship canal over the bridge into Amston let's have a look the glasses is uh, that when it gets darker then you actually be, you actually start to, uh, to see brighter also what's cool here in Salford what they've done they've actually uh, used one lane entire lane just for bikes as a cycle lane so I'm on it right now it's really great to be honest great solution and Friendly. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you have enjoyed this overview and please give it a thumbs up if you have and please also subscribe to my channel uh, and I'll see you next time.